Ladies and gentlemen, it's Todd A. Hobo. Hey, it's Todd I. Hobo over here in beautiful Hawaii. Where the sun's always shining, it's always beautiful. So whenever you come back to the Big Island of Hawaii, come on over and check out Tai Dai Hobo. Or just Google it. Today, we're going to do some a couple of shirts that somebody dropped off for me and they want me to tie dye for them. I do that. Some people drop off stuff and I tie dye it for them at a small price. So, uh, I want to thank the good Lord for all the talent, for all the blessings. Thanks, Jesus, for everything. Thank you, Lord, so I can share it with everybody. You know, sharing is very important, you know. If you ain't got nothing to share, it's okay. Share your love, share a smile, share a hug. That's more than everything in the world. Okay? So, today we're going to do a couple of shirts and uh, check it out. I uh, hope you guys have a great day. Hang out. Okay, if you get your shirt soaked in the soda ash solution, you spun out and spin sock in the washer, your shirt's ready to die. So we're going to lay this one face down. Okay, face down, we're going to find the center. Usually underneath the inner arm, right in the center, you know. We're going to get it a little pinchy pinch. We're going to do a spiral. Like that. Okay. See how I use my hand like this? Go around in circles. I'm going to show you how to mix colors in previous videos. I made a lot of videos. If you haven't seen them, check them out. I have a website called tideyehobo.com. If you want to help support, go and check it out and buy something. If not, I'll go broke. <laughs> but I'm always rich in spirit. Okay, there's the spiral. Okay. Now we're going to do the other shirt. We'll lay this one face up. And we're going to fold it in half, underarm to underarm. Okay. He has some stains on this shirt. Check it out. He has some stains on this shirt. He wants to get rid of those stains. No problem. Never fear. Tie-dye is here. Okay. So we're going to fold it in half. I'm gonna bring it over here like this. And then um, squish it together like this. Okay, so I just squish it. Some people call it scrunch, crunch, bee bottle bunch. I call it blotter. Blotter. Because when you open it up, that's what it looks like. It's not what it takes to make it. It's what it takes when you open it up. That's the design. Okay, we're gonna get rubber bands. See how I get the three fingers? High bridge, low bridge. Slide underneath. Bala bing, bala boom. Okay, the first shirt's gonna be a psychedelic spiral. And this one here is gonna be pinkadelic. That means it's gonna have all the colors, including black. Okay. Oops, here we go, like that. <laughs> All right, hang on. We're gonna go to the dying rack. Okay, we do the psychedelic one first. We do the little yellow, like this. Little tiny triangles, like that. Little little ones. Okay. You want to get orange? It doesn't matter where you put it or whatever. As long as you use all the colors, you know, it makes it psychedelic. Okay. Now there's some orange. Let's see, this can either be red. Yep, fuchsia. It's a fuchsia, a little bit here and there. A little bit of pink. Okay. A little bit of pink. Now some turquoise. Watch when the turquoise hits the other colors. Turns the purple. The orange turns teal. Turquoise and orange make teal. Okay, and then it hits the purple, makes the red make purple, and the yellow makes green. Watch this when it hits that 
Makes it a green color. See that? Pretty groovy, huh? All right, now we're gonna, oh yeah, you're supposed to wear gloves. But I ain't got any, I ain't wearing them. I got them, but I ain't wearing them. I'm a rebel. It's been over 30 years I've been tie dyeing. I'm still alive. Okay, <clears throat> so back to yellow again. Like this, like that, like that, maybe one more right here. Okay, a little bit of orange. We're not going to do over top of each other. We're going to do try to scatter them elsewhere where there's no orange and no yellow and all that stuff. Okay, I'm going to use the pink. Okay, now some turquoise. Okay, you don't have to go all the way to the center there because you want to keep some of that orange in the center. All right, now we're going to move this aside here and get on with the psychedelic pinkadelic. Pinkadelic. Okay, now this again, we're going to do all the colors on one side here. See, I'm just going to do whatever I feel like doing, man. just yellow first. And then orange, a little bit of red, okay, now a little bit of blue. Now watch when the turquoise goes in there, it makes green, teal, purple, right? See, it creates a lot more colors. So I just basically added four colors and it created like five or six. Okay. Now here's the trippy part. We're going to do black over the whole top of this. I'll show you how to mix black in previous videos. If you want, you know, I, I put one scoop of uh, yellow. One scoop of red. And one heaping scoop of dark blue. And that makes black. Okay, now we're going to do black over the top of this one. See that? Crazy, huh? This goes back to kindergarten or nursery school when you got a piece of paper and you drew a bunch of crayon stuff or whatever on it. And you got the black Indian ink. Maybe you did this in school. It was kind of cool. We did it. And you got the black Indian ink and you cover the whole top of it. And it dried, and then you got a scratchy tool, and you kind of drew a drawing on there, and your colors popped out. So this is kind of like that. See, the colors are still in there. Now we're going to come to pink. Pinkadelic. Okay. Just pink all over the whole thing like that. I'm going to flip it back over. So that way the other colors okay so when you let that sit overnight you know 12 to 24 hours get your washer going throw it in this you know full load and get mild dish soap you don't have to get this crazy 15 syllable word that they sell on dharma trading company you don't have to buy all the chemicals they offer you because every chemical they offer you has will cause cancer so i'm like hey the less of these chemicals the better you know what i mean so I bypass all that stuff. I don't even use it. I just use mild dish soap for washing. And I just uh, use high amount of the soda ash rather than using the synthropol or the urea. Those are extra chemicals that say cause cancer. You know, don't need that. So anyways, you guys, uh, we'll hang on. Check it out in a minute here. All right, hang on a second here. Okay, here's the psychedelic spiral. Look back. Pretty cool, huh? That's psychedelic. That looks really cool, too. He's gonna like that. He wanted it really colorful. Okay, now this is the one with the stain.
Now tell me, can you see the stain in that shirt anymore? <laughs> Front and back. All right, you guys. Hope you guys check that out. Any like that? I hope you guys like that. Yeah, it's been two weeks since I broke my ribs. And it's been really sore. It takes six weeks to heal. Every now and then it feels like somebody gets a sword and just jams it in my heart. But uh, the Lord will heal me. So I'm okay. Thanks for your prayers and your kind thoughts. And uh, gosh, those look beautiful. Hope you guys really enjoyed that video. And have a great day. Aloha.